are going to make the wild spiced orange tea. Now, this is my personal creation. Uh, this is the cocktail that helped me uh, get into the mixology uh, finals at this year's Bartender's Bash, which, by the way, I did win first place in that competition. Uh, this is a pretty light and refreshing cocktail itself. It's got multiple levels of flavor. And uh, it's got great aroma, too, as you can bring it to your, to your mouth as you're going to take a sip. It's pretty, pretty nice. It uses a, I, I like to use this particular glass. Since it's a tea of sorts, I like to you know fancy it up with a large glass teacup. Just put some ice in it to ice it up. Now, if you don't have a glass such as this, no worries. Um, any large glass between the 10 to 12 ounces will do just fine. The drink itself is about six and a half ounces, plus a little bit of the water when you shake it and the volume of the ice, it will be fine. So 10 to 12 ounce glass of any sort, and you'll just do it perfectly. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our shaker tin. mixing glass. We're going to go ahead and add two ounces of the absolute wild tea. Now, this stuff is absolutely delicious. Seriously, uh, it has the flavors of both black tea and elderflowers. It's quite good. So we're going to put in two ounces. I'm going to put two ounces of fresh pulp free. You want it pulp free, you don't really want pulp in there. Uh, Florida orange juice, I prefer the Valencia type orange. It's relatively sweet, not too much acidity. Okay. Then we're going to put in an, an ounce and a quarter of Domaine de Canton. Now, this is a ginger flavored liqueur and it comes from France. One and one quarter ounce. And then we're going to put in just a quarter ounce of Aftershock Cinnamon Liqueur. Uh, they call it a liqueur, it's not a schnapps. And why only a quarter of an ounce? Because this has a very, very strong flavor profile. Um, you don't really need much at all, so just a quarter. That's it. You'll, you'll be surprised. You'll see that come through in the drink. Guarantee it. And then we're going to use one full ounce of Finest Calls Triple Sec Syrup. This is a non alcoholic, this is a straight sugar syrup with a really, really good bright orange nose on it. You can literally, you can smell it. It smells great. I love this stuff. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and Shake this all up. Make sure you get a good seal. Now we're going to shake this up not very long because we don't want to water down the drink. This is just to shake it, get it cold, and mix it up. That's all you got to do. Just a few good shakes. And we're going to strain it directly into our ice glass teacup. Perfect pour. And then, to garnish this, you take an orange wheel, thinly sliced, and a cinnamon stick. You can do it so many different ways. I just kind of like go right through the middle, kind of like flagging it. Just place that in there. So. And lastly, we're going to freshly grate just a little bit of cinnamon on top. And that's, that's about it. Um, this cocktail, the Wild Spice Orange Tea, is a very good versatile cocktail. You can have it any time throughout the year. You can have it now during these hot summer months, or you can even have it with the uh, festive meal during the fall holidays. Uh, the choice is yours. So, uh, to all of you, thank you very much, and cheers.